from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In My House, hosted by T. Carlito. Where the true stories are told and great music is played.
stories are told, and great music is played. Welcome, Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help. You know, most of my life, I was a resident of Wayne County, and so I'm here to help because Treasurer Shabri wants to work with Wayne County homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. Take the first step towards staying in your home by going down to the Wayne County Treasurer's Office on the fifth floor of the International Building in Greektown. Stop by today to learn more about our payment plans and especially the newly extended interest rate reduction program. Already in the payment plan? It's important you stay in good standing. Making property tax payments is now easier than ever. We have placed payment kiosks in Rite Aid stores and community centers across the county. We've also added kiosks in our offices. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. You know, with that way of life and, you know, all the elements and all that rap, you know, that's about getting money and fucking, like, hip hop is that real shit that we know, that golden era, something with a message in it, you know, like, hip hop is that real shit that we know, that golden era, something with a message yeah. in it. That's how we mastered it. Yeah. False Greek figure that's passionate. Yeah. National treasure, uh -huh. best of both worlds, smashed together. Uh -huh. I can get the ass whenever. Yep. We let go of the past and never do it, 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 do it. Similar faces from the basement into the basement. Uh, take over replacement. I'm all a weak shit. I'ma write a treatment. Go mellow with some movement. Meet me. It don't mean that we move discreetly. Yo, I'm from the courts. I commission him from the Vancouver to the shores of Michigan. Create a new tribe and assemble them. Symbolism and the snares and the symbols. And we hit to put a damn face to it. As long as we all can endeavor to do it, 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 do it. Something with the message in it. 
welcome to another episode of the In My House Techno Music Show. And I am so excited. For the first time, not in Detroit actually. Let me see. I talked to Detune for the first time via Skype when he was at home. I've never talked to Rennie via Skype, but yeah. I, I did. I sent you a couple of recordings though. Yeah, but we never did a physical interview like this. Okay. But right, um, right. so this is this is pretty dang on awesome. The last time, the first time I ever got a chance to do a quick interview with you, Rennie, was over at uh, Motor City Wine during uh, the M Memorial Weekend. We did a quick thing in that um, in the in the dance room. Remember? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was the first but time. I remember the show proper though from that one time when we all came up to submerge. Yes, with Alexander yeah, Robotnik, yeah, and that was awesome, awesome wasn't it? So I'm not doing. I, I don't think I'm doing a party this year, guys. It's just too costly. Um, I'm gonna. I'm in my third year, so I kind of like want to focus on just getting better quality looking visuals for the show kind of like focus on other stuff and then come five so much going on already so oh yeah but i am going to do my five hour live um that mm -hmm. i do you know that the before bang tech i'm going to do that friday yeah, yeah. but this time I'm, I'm i'm hoping i'm hoping to do it like noon to 10 so then that way you can have like a little barbecue and in the backyard because now i got a house hopefully if, well, if i get my privacy fence up then we'll have a little grill in the backyard. I think that'd be kind of sweet. I don't know how my yeah. neighbor. I don't know if my neighbors are ready for it, but what the hell? They'll. Fi it's, it'll be Friday, so they can't complain. So anyway, let's talk music, guys. Um, so right now, you guys are are releasing. It, it actually came out this week or last week. I came. It came out November first. Well, Deacon oh. was here in Vancouver. He dropped it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, tell me. Tell me. Party and stuff. So tell me. Um. Tell tell the tell the listeners the name of it and well, but let's start with the name of the tune because I want to make sure I have it right. The EP is called Look, Touch, Feel, and Listen. Okay. And it's basically uh, four tracks based around a similar idea and a similar vibe. Okay. It has a little bit of a house vibe to it, which um hip hop elements, some jazz elements. Okay. I suggest you just simply listen to it and decide for yourself. Okay. I prefer to let the music speak instead of me. So. <laughs> the beats have there's the beats are a really stand out. Okay. It's like a beat driven EP. All four of the tracks have a very um unique and uh, pronounced beat structure to in two of them in a house kind of traditional four four house way and then two of them in a kind of a breaks or a garage kind of style okay but uh but both quite unique and hip-hop sounding okay and old school house sounding and interesting yeah so with you saying yeah. that it, it sounds like it doesn't quote unquote necessarily fall into the categorical house it got a little bit of a little bit of this and a little bit of that kind of like a uh, hodgepodge yeah. of things right yeah something okay. like that yeah. okay yeah. so I don't, I don't really go into making music with a specific idea i'm gonna make this genre or this genre or today i'm gonna make house or to, that that's all after thought so right right uh, however it's labeled after that's something we deal with after not right. while right. making it Right. Get the music out there and let people feel it first, right? Yes, exactly. So yeah. how this, how this, now, um, D2, this is not your first time being on Rennie. Is this your first time being on Rennie's label? No, I know it's not my first time being on the label, but it is my debut EP, so. Okay. All the other stuff were single tracks or uh, features on compilations okay. or and remix. remix. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is the so, first one with your name out I'm front. Just, your name's out front, yeah. hey? All right. I put, out, I put exactly. out his first remix, which was... Um, Fierce Methodology. Fierce Methodology with uh, remixes by Sean Deason and uh, Paul Mack and, like, some, some big guns. And then also, um, then, then Soiree, right. Eric's label, which put out my put out one of my first records in 2002, not my first record, but um, 
Uh, certainly my first uh, Detroit release was on Soiree with okay. Derek Thompson and, uh, and his too. Okay. My first release on their own name. Uh, for vinyl, his first vinyl. Release. Okay. Yeah. It was on Soiree and then... All and, the now we're doing, and now we're doing his first full EP. Which so, is on my label, right? So it's been. I'm excited. Trying, so the ba- so big tune. You know, I call you the baby of the bunch. You full grown That's now, true. huh? <laughs> you got your man hairs on your chest now. <laughs> I wow. can't stay behind. There you go. So what yeah, was the sure. what was some of the inspiration? Like, like, how did you decide now's the time, or did you just how how did you guys come up with? Now is that time to do this, or is there a method or or a logic behind it? Uh, it took a long time to finish these four tracks. So basically, as soon as they got finished, Renny was the first one, or the first or second one, the hero. And as soon as he heard him, he liked him, and they got signed to him. So okay, great. Yeah, obviously, like. Uh it was just a matter of time when, since me and this guy have met um, through Derek Thompson, through Soiree mm-hmm. in Detroit, since we met, um, it's been just a matter of time and going through steps to put his music out, both with my label and uh, Derek's label. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, you know, it's just a natural thing. and uh, it's, as we get things done, they'll come out. Yeah, yeah. We, we keep in touch on a regular basis, so it's not always music we talk about, but when some things get finished, they're usually the first guys to hear it. So. Okay. Mm. So this is really an honor, though, for me to, you know, have been able to connect with Detune and Rennie. You know, you're in Rennie's house. That's like so, like, that's epic right there for me. You know, because you could have been at home and we could have been talking about it, but that man, like, who gets to do this? You guys right here, like, not in my house, but in my house. You're in welcome, That's you're hot. Welcome in my house anytime. Yeah. Yes, I can't wait to get yeah. there. I can't wait. I know you. I know you have good food it's there too. City, I can tell you that. Much. So, is this your first time in Toronto? I mean, Vancouver, Van City, it's, Van uh, City. Let me yeah, say, it's Van my first City. First time in Canada. And- my first time in Vancouver, so you like I it. I liked it. Yeah. So, do you see, you know, by this being your first experience there, do you see a lot of similarities from from Belgium and there? Because they seem to probably have. Because I I notice a lot of the graffiti art that Rennie is very famous for producing and showing. I know a lot of that exists where you are. So, did you kind of like? It wasn't like you had dropped off and now you're in Kansas and you don't know you didn't know where the hell you were at. Did you feel like well, similarities? Definitely some parts of the city were in a way similar. Okay. I, I went looking for some graffiti, but most of it has been cleaned up. Oh. So there wasn't as much to spot as, for instance, there is in Detroit. Okay. Really, you got to get uh, your voice back out there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take him to the good spots, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. I didn't go looking at graffiti. I probably missed a bunch yeah. of them. There's but, some good. There's some really good art in this city. I'm sure. sure. I'm I'm sure because you're you're really good art in that city. So I know that you you oh, come thanks, from there. But so. I'm not I'm not piecing. It's been years since I've been a serious in the in the graffiti game. Okay. You know, but uh, you know I support it. About music's my thing. Definitely. You know, I gotta stay out of jail. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, Randy, what's <laughs> let's talk about now. We talked about the tunes. Um, you actually dropped two new artists on your label this week or last week or on the first of this month. Yeah. Um, talk about Dronus because I saw the, uh, I got the, I get your emails and I always look, I'm so happy when I see that Rennie Foster hand in my email. That's super hot right there. Um, okay. So let's talk about Dronus for a second. What's, what's up with that? Now he's from, he's from your city. Uh, yeah, that's where I met him. He plays at the, the same club that I play here called uh, Gorgamish. Okay. And after hours, that's where we did the release party actually. Okay. Uh, for it was like a double release party. We released both the EPs on November first. They're both uh, debut EPs from new artists that have never released a full EP that have uh, already appeared on RF through uh, um, the Entro Work series, which is like um, 
uh, introductions of new artists that are going to release okay. more on the label, basically, okay. in the future, and okay. when when they're done, okay. when they're when they have an EP ready to release, we're we're uh, that's what we're doing. But first, I put them out on a compilation series. Okay. Um, usually, the tracks that got me interested in them in the first place. So both Dronus and um, Btune have appeared uh, on that series, and now we've released it fully. All right. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get catch up with Dronus one day. You're gonna have them right sitting there. Where Daytona is sitting, and we can chat about a little bit too. Awesome. That would be, awesome. be really His cool. Name is Ivan. Okay, Ivan, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, so, Daytona. Well, all right, Daytona, I got a challenge for you. Um, I know you did a lot of compilation work for and, and different projects. So, would you be, um, can you put together a 20 minute mix of all your stuff, or at least the majority of some of your early works? I think that would be so phenomenal. To be able to re revisit, revisit, relive some of these uh, memorable, which are now historical tracks for you, um, and, and you know, and it'll be good for me to hear them for the first time. Some definitely would be for the first time, and it'd be really good for those that have forgotten that music uh, to be able to relive that. So that's your challenge. You don't have to do it asap, a right away, but. You know, like, we'll like as soon as you get back home, you know. <laughs> I support, I support the challenge. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll then we gotta, challenge. then we gotta, we gotta get Papa to give it the thumbs up, though. We, which you know, he's gonna make sure it's on point. You representing him too now. <laughs> I don't doubt it. With I know it's gonna be the bomb. I I know you guys are amazing, and I look forward to seeing you guys in Detroit again. Um, you know, yeah, it's, yes. it's that dormant time, it's depression time, winter is settling, the leaves are falling, and it'll be snowing soon and cold for all of us. Oh. <laughs> yes. So, um, and spring comes around and work clips. It's all, it's all on and popping, right? So what's up, what's next for you, uh, D-Tune? You got this track, you got this new release coming out, and I know you guys, you're, you guys are geniuses, so you're always working on new stuff, so... You working on anything else? Uh, anything else in the works for you? Well, Are you going to do something uh, on Swaway? I have. A, I'm excited to start working on a new project that actually just uh, kind of organically came about yesterday. Mm. I met one of the local Vancouver artists named The Passenger, and Randy hooked me up with a, a remix for his stuff. So I'm eager to start working on that. Nice. And then, then I probably have a little some different stuff that is about ready to send out and see what I will do with it. So we'll see. There's a lot of stuff in the works, but nothing setting stone yet. So there you go. Sounds like work to do first, and then we'll talk after. So, there you go. Sounds like uh, this won't be your last trip to Van City, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be don't be going there all the time. You know we love you in Detroit first. You you gotta you gotta make sure oh, you yeah, balance us out, yeah, right? I can't stay away from you guys here. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be back soon. All right. <laughs> so anything else you want to add? What you got going on, Randy? You busy too? Can I, can I plug a couple records? Oh, uh, you better. Uh, this is my newest piece of vinyl out. It's on a Vancouver label called MSLX. It's a uh, the newest collaboration between myself and Vancouver rapper Mocha Only, who I had a record out in 2010 with, uh, called Connect Like Four. Uh, lots of people know know that record. The Samuel Session remix was kind of a uh, successful, um, and uh, this is our newest one. Okay. And it's called Do It Like Hip Hop. And it's sick. It's got a spilt milk remix on the flip, and it is a very badass hip house record that okay. you need to own. <laughs> I also believe it was pressed at Archer in Detroit. Oh, nice. So, okay, cool. And it has a shout out on it. It says, "From the Vancouver to the shores of Michigan." You gotta listen to it. It's, yeah. little, it's got a shout to the D on it. Oh, that's hot. So and you have these records in May when I'm out there. Okay. And it's gonna be like golden, golden. The golden tickets. tickets I the golden. Many of them, but you know. 
These are hot. These are hot. Okay. Awesome. So, cool. And also the RF. Also the RF uh, latest, last RF record that I put out uh, from the label, RF Tracks, distributed by Prime in uh, the UK, Prime Direct. And uh, you can order. You can get these anywhere online. Oh, I think that do like hip hop too. You can order that online. Okay. Um. um yeah. And, hey, Five Dog, what's up? Oh, it's so cute. All right, so let's um let's talk about how the now the day tune, your release is it uh vinyl only or are we doing vinyl and digital both? Are you doing vinyl first? It's digital only. It's digital. The EP oh, is digital only. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And where can we find that? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> iTunes, Beatport, Spotify, wherever you listen to stream or, or buy music, it's there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very excited for you guys and wish you well all the time. And, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate you both for, you know, believing in, in what, what I'm trying to do with this show. Not trying, but what I'm doing with the show and and being patient and being super supportive even without judgment like who the hell is she you know you guys like <laughs> from from day one have been right there and you guys come through really I mean Rennie you the bomb you be giving me those video intros like nobody else I swear it's the bomb it's, it's just really good and your music I mean Belladonna Watershed Watershed is when I think I fell in love with you first when I heard that Watershed that was that was that was Paul, the, talking about Paul the Sun the Watershed yeah man and the video God that video yeah my, my girl Kara that you just made helped me make that and that was her friends uh, that was her friends I'm gonna have to play uh -huh. I'm playing that on the show I'm playing that on the show today cause um that 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 video was just so artistically done. It was just beautiful. I I love that. And and I wish, cool. you know, because we are in a visual world now, I wish that the techno and house artists would begin to do more videos because there are a few out there. But it would be nice to have more videos um to support the music and I think that would just be phenomenal and I think you really have you have set the bar high on it when it comes to that stuff in my opinion I'm, I'm, I'm trying check check uh, Renny Fo uh youtube.com slash Renny Foster music okay for uh, the video stuff that I've been doing with the label there's uh you know I'm getting better at it and uh, working hard to try and make it more part of what we're doing. Yeah, that There's last video, video you sent. There's tracks up there, too. Oh, cool. For uh, vibrations. For vibrations, one of the tracks that, that um, was on intro work, and he made it himself with uh, using some vintage, like, YouTube, oh. some vintage uh, footage. I'm going to have to pull that up amazing. and check it out. That's going on. Right that's beautiful. I, I, that's what I need. I need more of that. That's really cool. So I know you guys got you got a um, you got a flight. How long is the flight? How is the flight longer there than here? A little bit. Okay. Uh, the first flight is ten hours, and then it's like an hour and a half. Wow. Okay. Well, you should be well rested by the time you get home, just to jump in and go to work. Because normally when you go home, you go right to work, don't you? Yeah, this time won't be the will just be the same. Uh, so I figured as much. On Monday, Belgian time, and on Tuesday it's back to work. So. Hot day! You guys are awesome. So thank you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to um, hearing the uh, the latest releases by you, Mr. Daytoon and Renny. I keep up with you. That's why I hurried up and signed up so I can get the uh, email messages from you so you know if I see something what do I do I message you right away hey I need that I want that I got that I'm playing that this week yeah you got some bad stuff and I and I mean that day that time when you um, did the mix um, when we did the welcome to Detroit international vinyl party and you like uh, Derek Thompson could sit up there and just play your own music for your entire set you know that's the bomb when you can do that you know, Thank you. and move the floor with your own shit. That's what's up. That's really Thank you. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. 
Any final um, hellos and highs and salutes or anything um, you want to say in your life? Thank you on this show and we hope to see you soon. Dina. Yay. Yeah. Peace yeah. out, guys. Right. Take care. Love to Detroit and all my, all my friends there. Yeah, yeah, we miss you terribly. We'll see you guys soon. Safe travels, Thanks. guys. Safe travels to you home too, sir. All right. Peace. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye, Tina. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Also, I got a remix out on uh, Santonio Echo's D D label, D Records. Uh, it's um, a remix of Alex Agore, and uh, there's also a Terrence Parker remix on the record. So you gotta cop it. It's good. The newest D Records. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, cool. All right, can we? Now we can go. You ready? Now we can go. <laughs> You sure? Yeah. <laughs> and he just put the two fingers get behind your head. Get this shit. Get this shit. Get it all. This is the newest RF with the bandit. It's sick. It's got Cloudmaster Weed remix on wax. Come on, you oh. gotta get this. Wow, that's I'm hot. I hope he can come back to Detroit soon. Cloudmaster's ill remix. That's rare shit. Look if you people who know Cloudmaster Weed know this is good, man. You gotta get this. I and agree. then also, Stephen Brown is on this, legend in the game. Also, Detroit's Antoine Faulkner. Oh, has yeah. oh I, you know I love him. Get it. It's called Renny Foster with Abandon. RF Tracks number two. You can get it anywhere vinyl is sold. Juno, Dex, Clone, there, here, all the places. Get it. You heard it first, right here. What did he say, yep. day two? Get it. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Got it. Good. Okay. All right, guys. You are in my house. Hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
After receiving a delinquent property tax bill for the two lots connected to my home, I was concerned. I didn't even know that I had a past due bill. I went down to the Wayne County Treasurer's Office and the staff worked with me to keep my property out of foreclosure. My property taxes became delinquent after I fell behind on my bills. Treasurer Sabri and his staff came to the town hall in my city and provided information about resources available to help me. At the meeting, I found out about payment plan options. Let us help you. Our goal is zero owner-occupied properties getting foreclosed and going to the auction. Come down to our office at 400 Monroe in downtown Detroit on the fifth floor. Call 313-224-5990 during our normal business hours from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and until 6.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. Or email taxinfo at waynecounty.com for assistance. Take the first step. Contact our office today. It worked for us. So nice. We have to do it twice. Yes. The word is out. It's the 2019 Detroit Hair Wars, the return of the musical, Sunday, April 28th, at the Spacious Ford Community and Performing Arts Center in Dearborn, Michigan. Hair Wars. Starring some of the greatest hair entertainers in the world, live on stage and down the runway. Big hair, colorful hair, outrageous hair, and entertaining skits that will leave you breathless. You have to see it to believe it. See you at the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center in Dearborn for Hair Wars. The return of the musical, Sunday, April 28th. Doors open at 4.55 to watch the big screen video show. And Hair Wars goes live at 6.05. Cash bar, hot food, and free parking. Plus, dancing after the show. A Hump the Grinder production. Yes. Sponsored by Ampro Pro Style. Dorsey School of Beauty. And in my house techno music show, Hump the Grinders Hair Wars. It's entertainment, baby. Do you love it? Oh, I just love Hair War. You are in my house, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
the way the music goes, it's essentially not about anything. It's just a design of pitches and silence and time, and the pitches, the notes, as you know, are just vibrations. They're locations in the spectrum of sound. between these two chords, it's just these two notes in the middle, right? So the big difference between human happiness and sadness, 37 freaking vibrations. Everybody be careful, be safe, and see you next week. New music in my house.
are In My House, hosted by T. Carlito, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Thank you.